Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I wanted to do a Vitacost haul. Um, I wanted to share with you some of the things that I've picked up recently from Vitacost, why I bought these things. Just kind of do a little bit of a workout chit chat, a little bit of health chit chat. Just kind of, let's just sit back, relax, and just talk like girlfriends about our health. <laughs> And I know for some of you, you're like, oh, you know, but your health is really important because if you're not at your best, then you can't be at your best to other people. It's just, it affects everybody in your household. It affects your life. It affects who you're with. And so I just wanted to give a few encouraging words. And so as I said, I placed an order on Vitacost. And so let's just dig into this box here. Um, the first thing I had purchased was some red, um, Bob's Red Mill um, chia seeds. Now, I have heard a ton of good things about chia seeds, but the reason I specifically bought these was to put into smoothies. Now, um, if any of you have children, if they're at, like ages specifically four and two, and all they want to eat is crap, <laughs> things with sugar, peanut butter and jelly, mac and cheese, um, anything pre-made and processed, they'll eat. So, for me, it's frustrating as a parent to see them not consume fruits and vegetables. So smoothies are the way I get them to eat things they don't know they're eating. Um, and so I have heard a lot of good things about chia seeds. Uh, there's also some recipes that come on here, like some muffins and breads you can make. Um, but this is a superfood, which I feel like um, if I eat a superfood, I'm super awesome. <laughs> it's, I feel good when I eat good things. It's just the truth of the matter. Put bad in, bad comes out. Put good in, good comes out. Um, and how you feel affects how, how you operate, at least for me. Um, when I eat a bunch of donuts, I feel sluggish and tired. I don't want to do a single thing around here. But when I eat superfoods and super smoothies, then I'm just buzzing around here like a busy bee, cleaning and smiling, and I'm just in a good mood. So long story about chia seeds, but they're very good for you, and this is a great way to consume them um, this way just by throwing them into a smoothie. So that was the first thing I got. The second thing I got, um, I buy all kinds of protein bars. I've tried all different kinds of protein bars, and I have a dairy allergy. So um, I'm always looking for something that doesn't taste like cardboard, but it's good for you. Also, I've been looking for a protein bar that has less sugar in it because I'm a sugar-aholic, self-admitted sugar-aholic. I usually consume dessert at least four to five days a week, and I know it's not healthy for me. I just plan to eat too much sugar, which is why you see all these zits on my face all the time, because when I eat sugar or dairy, my face breaks out. And I don't know if any of you experience that, but I know from time to time you'll see my face really clear, and other days it's just a hot, hot mess. Um, so, long story short, I wanted to find a protein bar that did not have very much sugar in it. The Quest Bars. One gram of sugar compared to some protein bars that have upwards of 20 to 30 grams of sugar which is equivalent to a candy bar so I would rather eat a candy bar sometimes but just saying so I got the chocolate chip cookie dough flavor they have tons of flavors but this one had the most stars so I went with it I've never tried the quest I actually I take that back I have tried two quest bars in the past I can't remember if a friend gave them to me or if a subscriber sent me one, I don't recall this was a while ago, but I'm going to give these a go again. These are also um, no gluten, gluten-free, dairy-free, high fiber. Um, you get how many in a box? Uh, 12 bars. And so these are a better deal to buy them in a case than individual. And um, if you go to the grocery store, you'll pay an arm and leg for one where you can buy like a whole case of them. Um, if you have never... Um, ordered from Vitacost before, please and thank you, um, use my link. It'll get you $10 and it gets me $10. And so um, that way I can try more things and bring more things to you to, uh, that I recommend. And anyways, so yeah, I'm gonna give these a go. I eat a lot of protein bars, they're quick, they're on the go. And if I make lunch and eat uh, at the same time as my kids, they're in my face, uh, they're in my food. So I usually quickly grab a granola bar or something while I'm making their lunch. I know it's crazy, but it's just it's just the life of a mom. You can also throw them in your purse um, for snacks. It's a great snack because it's low carb, low sugar. Um, you know, those in-between times of days, like 10 in the morning, 2, 3 in the afternoon, where just things just eh, pick me up snack. It's a great, great low calorie, low carb, low sugar option. So those are the only two food things I got. The other things that I got here are skincare, and I've been getting really hardcore into skincare. I mean, I've been into skincare for the past year or so, but really been trying to 
step of my game with my skincare. I'm aging. We're all aging. We're all fighting the battle. And um, some days my skin just isn't looking so good. And I think it's because some of the products I'm using just aren't doing it for me. But do you ever feel like obligated to use them up because you open them? Because I do. I have a hard time opening new skincare until my current skincare is opened. Um, so I'm not one to have like 15 moisturizers, 3 eye care things, a bunch of serums open. No, I usually have one at a time because I feel like it's wasteful to open up more than one. And skincare, as we know it, is not inexpensive. But skincare is much more important than makeup because your base is your skin. So you need to take care of your skin first and foremost if you want your makeup to look good. And perhaps you need less like base products if you know you take care of your skin. At least that's what I found out. So the first thing that I have here, I was watching Linda from the Beauty Puzzle. What a beautiful woman. So sweet, so kind, so genuine. I will link her channel below. Make sure to subscribe to her. She's just so gorgeous. Um, she was sharing her 2014 beauty our uh, skincare beauty serums, masks, exfoliators, cleanser favorites from last year. And so I picked up two of the things she had talked about. Um, the first is the rosehip oil uh, with a vitamin E chili natural skincare. It's the Aurora Acacia brand, and I've used some essential oils from this brand in the past. Um, so she was saying that rosehip oil is so good for your skin. It says apply as a serum to face after cleansing. It can be used as a general body oil, which gosh, that would go fast if you did that. A nourishing hair and scalp massage, or to soften and rejuvenate skin. Um, no synthetic anything, which is really good and really important for your skin to really, I've kind of found that, um, for example, a lot of drugstore things I won't even buy. There's way too much perfume and dyes and fragrance. I feel like that's the main purpose of it is that it smells good, but who cares if your skincare smells good? I mean, it's, you're going to put perfume on or whatever anyway. So, um, I feel like the more natural and the more organic you can get with your skincare, the better for your skin. Cause think about it. I mean, a hundred years ago there wasn't all these fake things you know like it was just people just use what was natural like oils like from the earth um I also use argan oil but that's a whole other story so anyways um this rosehip oil is contains vitamin A which is best known for replenishing and restoring mature or sun damaged skin so I guess I'm hoping to prevent um maturing quickly from spending too much time in the sun when I was younger if any of you are currently laid in a tanning bed, get out of it. Trust me, in about seven years, you're going to see the fruits of that labor and you're not, you're not going to be happy with it. So, um, rosehip oil, mature aging skin, this is a go-to item. Another thing she was talking about uh, was vitamin C and how good that is for your skin, how it really helps brighten. And I knew this actually because I've used the Uli Henriksen stuff before, but how vitamin C is like a brightening... For your skin helps restore luminosity radiance just kind of bring your skin back to that youthful glow that your toddlers have you know and so um i picked up the avalon organics vitamin c renewal it's a vitality face serum antioxidant intensive treatment stimulates cellular renewal and provides photo aging defense so as we age it takes longer for our cells and our skin cells to turn over so this is supposed to help speed up that process and when you get new cells that's when your skin looks its most fabulous so um and as you age like i said things get slower um <laughs> Fight the visible signs of photo aging resulting in softer, smoother skin with improved tone. All of that sounds fabulous to me. Um, look at this. No, you can't look. Listen. Targeted, okay, it's designed to target hyperpigmentation, sagging and lines, and the most visible signs of UV-induced stress. So, another thing I think is going to help um, my skin. The uh, last thing that I had picked up from Vitacost is something that... I didn't even think about, but I was on their website, and um, this is an issue of mine, and I was on their website just kind of looking around, and the Andalou Naturals brand is a brand, I've tried one of their cleansers, and it's so fabulous, guys. It's just a really beautiful skincare line, and so I wear a lot of false lashes, and so I wanted to figure out something to get the glue off of my eyes. And I didn't know they made a product like this, but I'm always like the next day peeling chunks of glue off and then of course you peel off all your lashes. So this might not be for everybody, but for those of you out there who occasionally wear false lashes or wear them all the time, you need this in your life. This is the Revitalizing Lash and Lid Makeup Remover for normal and combination skin. And holy cow, look at all the things it does. All those things. 
Okay, so treatment. It ha has a luminous eye serum built in. Um, oh no, wait. Never mind. It does not do all these things. These are all the different products that they have. Oh, anyways, um, this is, it gently cleanses eye area, conditions lash lashes, lids, and brows. Fortifies for longer, fuller lashes. Extends full lash growth potential. Enhances beautiful shaped brows. Well. Mama needs some more brows because my brows are not beautiful and shaped on their own. So anyways, I thought this would be cool. So I wanted to just uh, do a little bit of a chit chat about um, some of you asked me like specifically this summer when I was doing more working out than I currently am, but I, I've gotten back into it over the course of the past month, um, mainly because I went into holiday diet and that's where you eat anything and everything and you don't care. Um, however, now I am back to my spandex because most of my clothes are a little bit tighter than I would care for them. And I'm sure most women, you all understand what I'm saying. Um, so anyways, I have been doing the Insanity Max 30. And so what it is, is it's like Insanity, which sounds like a terrible, terrible idea. Um, it is. But if you want to get in the best shape of your life, um, definitely would recommend it. <laughs> is it easy? No, but it's not designed to be. Workouts are meant to be challenging, but yet fun at the same time. So anyways, I've been doing that, and most of the workouts are designed around a 30-minute time period, which, as a busy mom, even if I were working, um, even if I didn't have kids, I still don't have or would want, I guess everybody has the same amount of hours in their day. It's just what you do with it. Um, but I, I don't want to work out for two hours. I don't even want to work out for an hour most days. That's just too long. Like, I'm just like, is this over yet? Um, so most of the workouts are designed around 30 minutes or so. And it's insane. Like, we're talking all body weight challenge, like jumping and punching. And that might not be for everybody. But if you are into that or you like cardio, like, this is serious cardio workout. <laughs> um, I feel great afterwards. Um, sometimes it's just finding that motivation to push play. Um, I'm the opposite. I'm very self-motivated when it comes to exercise. I'm not so self-motivated when it comes to eating right to pair with the exercise. And you can eat your way through any workout. And trust me, I do it a lot. And that is one thing I personally am, I, I, I have struggled with. And one thing I want to work on this year is to be better balanced. Um, do the workout, but then eat healthy 80% of the time. Give yourself that 20% leeway. By golly, do it. I mean, life is not worth living if you can't eat a donut. I'm just saying, don't eat a donut every day and then work out and then wonder why you can't see results. Um, th that is something that I've wondered. I've been working out forever. And um, at least the results I would like to see for the amount of hard work that I know I put into something. But it is well worth the hard work you put into something to take the extra minute to think, do I want to eat that donut? Because now I'm going to have to go and run five miles <laughs> in order to break even. Because sometimes I don't even realize the amount of calories that are in something like one pop. or And I'm not a pop drinker, but every time I want one and I look at how many calories, I'm like, what? Unless you drink Diet Coke, but I just like Diet Coke. You know, I'm a Coke girl. Um, Diet Coke anyways. Diet Coke or regular Pepsi. Anyways, this has turned into an all over the place thing, but basically I just wanted to kind of share with you what I am doing, give you some of my struggles so that, um, you know, I'm, I'm just as real as you are. We all have our things that we struggle with, but when you start working out and you start moving, you just feel so much better. When you feel better physically, you can be better, like you can make better choices, you're happier. Um, Drink lots of water, your face will be less broken out. So basically, I just wanted to encourage you guys to get moving this year, um, make healthy food choices. If you've never tried Vitacost, by golly, you need to jump on that bandwagon. Um, this box actually did not come with the Vitacost logo on it. I was going to show you what the logo looks like, but you know what Vitacost is. I will leave the link below. Lots of things from babies to dogs to um, workout stuff to eating healthy to food to condiments to whatever on their website. And I just really like the website. Um, I've ordered from there for the past year and I've been really happy. The delivery is very speedy. And um, I just find a lot of good healthy things for my family that I can just order from a click of my button on the computer. 
So I think that's going to do it for today's video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you ordered from Vitacost. Um, and if you have any other recommendations that I have not yet tried, um, because I'm always open, always open to new things. Um, I do have some previous Vitacost hauls. If you look in my video library, if you want to see what else I, I frequently order. I know I did a, a video this fall of things I always order from Vitacost. You might want to check that one out. Um, just going to give you an idea if you're new or if you just want to try some new things. So I hope you guys enjoy this and I will talk to you again soon.